Hello, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing. And I'm Stu. And we're here to talk about a new course offering from Productive Computing University. And the name of the course is FileMaker Server External Authentication. Now, it sounds like a mouthful. Let's uh, talk about what this course is and why we created it. Stu, maybe you can tell us. Certainly. There's this external authentication was something that I saw on the certification exam, actually, but never had a lot of experience with it as an in-house developer. But it was kind of this thing that was out there, but it's a part of server. You have this whole tab that is dedicated to external authentication and all these different options with Google and Amazon and Microsoft Azure, and then the whole admin console itself. And so you have all these things that if you've never really seen it in action, it just seems like, oh, maybe it's, I, I don't know that I need it. But once you understand it and how simple it can be, it opens up some amazing doors. Right. I mean, like some of the advantages that I'm aware of with external authentication, and we, we use it here at Productive Computing. Um, the, the, the best example, I think, is traditionally FileMaker developers have created a file and then built in security account by account directly in FileMaker. Well, with external authentication, that gives the ability to create accounts from an external authentication source, such as Active Directory with Microsoft or Open Directory with Apple. Uh, things like you mentioned Azure, um, Amazon, and Google. And what we're finding is I talk at least once a week to someone who is discovering or exploring these opportunities to make it more flexible so that the account management is in the hands of IT, not necessarily DB admin. And that's the distinction between external authentication versus that FileMaker built-in authentication. So. I would say the biggest advantage is flexibility yes. and opportunities to do things differently or more advanced. Right. And you have some companies that maybe already have their whole company set up through Amazon. I mean, AWS is, is just huge now. And you have these three big boys that big companies are already using this grouping system where they're a part of this group, which then we're talking about security, and it's a lot easier in many ways with more options, at least, to do that group setting within something like AWS instead of adding each account in FileMaker and setting up those external uh, privileges and everything else, then it's just you have so many more options. That's right. really the big thing. Right. And in our discovery of external authentication, the actual FileMaker console admin or the FileMaker server admin console, that's kind of the easy part because you, you literally click a button and say, I want to now authenticate with this source. The tricky part is like, okay, well, how do I set that up on the Amazon side or the Google side or the Microsoft Azure side or even the Active Directory side? That's a whole nother thing. I mean, right. you could literally have a course on each technically. But I think what we've done is we've bundled all of that technology and all that know-how because you literally set up each one of those accounts one by right. one. And you take Brand us new. to, you take us through step by step. This is what you need. Click here. Click clear. Set this up, and that will get you to authenticate with those three external accounts. Uh, yeah, you can get a free account, developer account with each of those. We show this in the class. So in basically an hour, I think it might be a little bit less than an hour. You'll know everything about that external authentication tab, and there's only three steps really that you take. But because Amazon is so big. When you get the developer account, there's so many options. Trying to find your way through all of that on your own can be a maze. Well, I know because I, I did it, <laughs> right. but you try and break it down to where it is just step one, step two, step three. It'll sound so simple yeah. when you see it. Now, is there added benefit? Like if they take this course, yes, they'll know more about external authentication, but is there a side benefit? Will they learn some things about, let's say, the certification test or some of those other there are certainly questions on the certification test on external authentication and server itself. And so having this knowledge of this entire tab, you're bound to, I mean, the chances of you getting a question on the test that could be covered in this are, are pretty great because yeah. it's a big part. So there's a side benefit there. So if you want to learn more about external authentication, if you actually want to master it from A to Z, uh, this course is specifically designed for you, and we cover all three major uh, external authentication sources, and then we also have the uh, a discussion or a lesson or two about Active Directory, too, which is actually one of the original external authentication options. 
uh, started from way back and highly used everywhere, including here at Productive Computing. So if you want to see a bird's eye view of how that works, this course will cover you. Right. If, if OAuth just seemed like a weird word for years and you weren't really sure what it was, then in less than an hour, you'll feel like a master and you'll be ready for anyone that says external authentication or OAuth or Amazon to be like, I know how to do that. Right. So join us at Productive Computing University for another course. This one is on FileMaker Server, external authentication. I'm pretty excited about this one. I wish I had a course like this, you know, oh, yes. two years ago right. when all this stuff came right. out. It's like I had to kind of dig through everywhere. Be ahead of the game yeah. instead of oh. waiting until, oh, I have a client that needs this. How do I do this? Yeah, I, you know, you, you just know. I now. mean, no word of a lie. Just yesterday, someone called me and said, hey, we're interested in hosting with you guys with the QuickBooks. But we're already on Azure. We're already doing the, you know, the authentication through Azure. And it was just kind of exciting to hear all that. It's like, wow, people are really using this. It's out there. It's becoming more and more commonplace. So it was nice to talk intelligently to that and, and really be prepared for those questions when they arrive. So. And this is a course that actually we both, we both taught. You, taught, you teach part of uh, the... Yeah, the Active Directory. The part. Active yeah. Directory. And I do the OAuth providers. So it was kind of fun uh, going... I love it. Tag teaming there, which we will also do in upcoming certification. Course. Yes, yes. And stay tuned for more announcements on that. Yeah, you kind of heard a little glimpse of it here, a little hint. But uh, there's exciting things coming down the, the way with Productive Computing University. All right. Thanks again for watching.